Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Recently, I did a comparison video of best OCR models and one of the viewers pointed me to this rapid OCR project. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will see how it works. Rapid OCR is an open source free optical character recognition tool that aims to deliver fast and highly compatible text recognition across multiple languages and platform. Rapid OCR stands out due to its use of the ONNXR runtime inference engine which provides a 4 to 5 times speed improvement over the traditional pedal pedal engine while also addressing lot of issues including memory leak, efficiency and stability. By converting the well recorded pedal OCR models into ONNX format, Rapid OCR ensures high compatibility and ease of deployment for developers using Python, C++, Java, C Sharp and other programming languages, making it straightforward to integrate into diverse environments. Now before I get it installed, one of the things which I wanted to point out is that Mostly this project seems to me that it is very very highly optimal for Chinese language but also it's not really bad for the English language. There are various ways of getting it installed plus you can also easily fine tune it to your own language and they have shared lot of detail in their github repo and I will drop the link to it in videos description. So let's get it installed. For that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. I believe this rapid OCR simply uses CPU, but I am also using a GPU and we will see if it uses it or not. This is my Ubuntu system. This is my GPU card and VDRTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. First up, let's create a virtual environment. And I'm just going to go with Conda here. That is done. Next up, first let me show you how you can use it with your simple Python interpreter code. So I'm installing this rapid OCR in ONNX runtime format with pip. And by the way, if you want to learn more about ONNX or Paddle Paddle or Paddle OCR, just search my channel. I have done heaps of videos on both of them. Okay, so this is um, the easiest installation of this rapid OCR. Let me quickly show you one of a very quick OCR sample. I'm just going to launch my Python interpreter and then let me show you how easy it is to do it through the Python code. So the image which I'm going to test out is this Chinese simplified image and let's do it. First we need to import the rapid OCR then let's instantiate the rapid OCR engine by using this command and then let's give it the pass to our local image which I just showed you and then let's get the results and you can see that all I'm doing I am just getting the OCR and this is the OCR so let me also display the image here now there are some sort of coordinates and stuff but if you look at the language one I'll just make it move it a bit above sorry okay let's move it here then now if you compare visually of course I don't know Chinese at all but if you for example compare this first sentence with this image one it is spot on no doubt about that and even the rest of this Hanzi script looks really good. Now this is one way of doing it. Um, let me show you one of the Gradio demo which they also have put it in their github repo and for that first we need to clone it so let me do that let's exit from here let me clear the screen and now let me git clone the repo and this is a simple command of git cloning it that is done from there simply launch this demo and it is going to launch it in our browser and there you go, our demo is running on our local host at port 7860. Let me open it in the browser. And by the way, 
this comes with a catch and I'll show you the catch. So rapid OCR is running and the catch is that most of the labels are in Chinese. So first thing you need to do, uh, let's try out with the English one. So for that, make sure that you have selected the English uh, model. So I'm just going to go with English mobile and then English server. Where is English server? Should be here somewhere. Just go down to search. Okay, so English mobile, sorry. So once you have selected your English um, models, uh, select your image. So I'm just going to maybe go with this English one. This is my English image. Let's click on run. And I don't think so that it uses my GPU. I will quickly check my VRAM consumption in real time. There you go. So it's all on CPU. And meanwhile, it is running. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. So it has detected it. And this is the image. If I go here and let me actually display my image here. So I have also opened this image so that we could compare. So you see happiness and contentment are often considered. One thing is that it didn't put this double quotes here. I'm not sure. Okay. And then dot is here. You see, but there is no space between dot and W capital W, which is not good. I think that should be there. The same goes for most of the stuff where it has missed that space from the start and end of the sentence. But other than that, for character wise, it has done well, I would say. And I think if I scroll to the right, it has also given us the score as what exactly model thinks about its own progress. Hmm. So not bad, really, I would say. And this much it has taken the time you can even it also create, creates this identification of what sort of uh, extraction in terms of boxes and B box sort of thing it has done. Okay, so let's try out a maybe handwritten one now. So I'll open this. Let's run it. Let's also open this image in parallel and we will see what it does. Let's wait. So it has identified the section of the image is quite nicely. You see, it has not really taken into account this cutting, but this cutting is a bit of a um, identification there. So if I just scroll down, let's display it here. The way the words get jumbled. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly this is doing here. I don't think so. It has done well in terms of handwriting see writers in love second last line it has done it but what about the last one or even before that so some of them it has detected well but not all of them okay so i would say this is a fail in terms of handwriting one in english okay so let's try out sorry i'll just go up and i'm just going to go with the chinese one now i'll first go with chinese this Let's change the language and let's keep it China mobile. Where is that? CH. I should have done server, maybe. Anyway, it doesn't matter really. There you go. So, if you compare this with Chinese text, this is spot on. So, for Chinese one, as I said earlier, it is very, very optimal. It has even given the proper spaces all the handsy script looks really spot on so this is a simplified one same i guess goes for the chinese traditional let's try out another language so i don't think so it is multilingual in a sense uh it is just bilingual anyway so i'll just go with chinese maybe i'll try out another language you see there is nothing here I don't think so. It has Arabic in here. China. Okay, maybe multi mobile. I'll check. It is just this. I'll check multi mobile. There's a Japan one. The Wangari mobile. Korean is there. Few of the other ones are there, but I don't think so much is happening. Um, which should I? So maybe is there any multi one? I don't see much multi one. Maybe I'll just randomly select this. 
let's check it out. And it took around five minutes to come back, but you can see that the Arabic is totally off. So it is not really, um, it doesn't support Arabic, but there is a hint of Japanese and Korean. So let's try it out. Let's first try out maybe Japanese. I just selected this Japanese one. I'm not sure if we have Japanese server, so I'm just going to go with multi mobile here and I'll keep it like that. From here, I'm just going to go with Japan mobile. Let's run it. So it has produced the result. Let's compare it. And it's really hard for me to actually compare and see, but I'll just do some visual. When you see first script or this corrected, does that look right to me? Totally different. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is correct. What do you think? If you're a Japanese speaker, please, please let us know. What do you think about this? Okay, so let's try out Korean. Okay, next up I am doing this Korean one. So let's do it. I already have done it. So let's check it out. Now you see it is totally off here. Oh, sorry, I did it actually selected the language. My apologies. Let me select the language here and run it again and there you go it has done something so this is the one now i'm not sure really you see the first one if you compare this first one with this one totally off even if you go other way around yeah so i don't think so this is good or maybe i'm not doing something right here i'm not sure i i have, I have tried with different ones even different servers but still the same off result for any other language than Chinese or English. So look, in my opinion, I think this tool is really good for Chinese, whether it is simplified or traditional, but um, it is okay for English, not really, I mean, not really good for handwritten one, but I think simple English text is okay, not optimal. We have seen a lot of good models in English and bilingual too. It is not multilingual at all. So that's it. I think that if your use case is to just do the Chinese OCR, really good tool, runs on CPU. But for any other language, I, would, I don't think so. It is ready for it. That's it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.